Allos here again. This time we are going to repair a multi-products pinball motor. This one is on a 1963 Midway Raceway pinball, the one that has the two mechanical cars that go around the track, similar to the Flying Turns uh, version later. It uses two multi-products motors to drive the cars, one for each car. This is car one, and this is car two over here. Car two motor was used very little, so it does not need rebuilding. It's in very, very good shape. Car one motor obviously saw a lot more wear, and the clutch mechanism wore out on it. It got rounded off. So the car, when going around the track, would skip. It would grab and skip and grab and skip. So I bought a multi-products rebuilding kit from Pinball Resource, and that's what I'm going to put in today. This is the rebuilding kit that I got from Pinball Resource, and inside of it are the four rivets, a new rotor, a new, uh, uh, this is the first reduction gear assembly is what this is. It has two gears on it. This is your new first stage gear. This is your main drive gear that the clutch activates uh, in. And the rotor right here has the two new uh, clutch pins. And this is the clutch. And it has two pins on it or, as well. And they engage when you energize the motor the rotor goes in and starts turning and those pins there's a lot of slop between them but they eventually hit and then that drives the motor and then when the power goes off it pulls back and these pins the interface between them they wear down so mine was riding up over the pins and it was skipping now the old motor You can see, maybe, that the pins are rounded off, and the clutch pins are rounded off. With these multi-products motors, what you do is when you get down to the motor, you disassemble everything to get yourself down to the motor, the motor is held on by four rivets. You drill the rivets out and then you take the plates apart. This particular motor is it's hooked up to a double sprocket, double chain timed uh, mechanism for the two cars and I preferred not to have to disassemble that entire thing to get the motor to come off there. So I left the bottom of the motor in place and I drilled and tapped the four rivets to accept flathead screws. This is not what you would normally do so uh, that's not typical of what you would do. Okay, so on the old motor you pull the rotor out with the clutch out of the um, motor and you pull this reduction gear out with a spring on it. You're going to reuse this one. This is your first reduction gear and that's going to be replaced with this one. So, we're going to put a new one of these in. And there is a washer down on the bottom here somewhere on the motor side where the rotor rests. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here's what looks like a little spring washer perhaps right here that goes under the gear on the rotor under the clutch they give you a new one in the uh, rebuild kit so we don't need to reuse that now we have it stripped down ready to be cleaned and lubricated uh, and then uh, greased and oiled back up and then reassembled. Uh, 
Okay, now this is the new uh, first reduction gear assembly that goes in. There's a washer that goes down there. And we put a little bit of grease on that. Now you have to pry this motor up on the, uh, or lift it up. And if you take the rivets out, if you drill the rivets out, you can just lift the motor and put it aside. In my case, I had to pry it up a little bit to get enough clearance list back out. There we go. You have to have this rotor out in order to put that gear in. I forgot about that. So let's put this back in here. Make sure everything spins. Okay. Now we put this washer on top of there. That's a wear washer. This is only going to uh, be a stop for when the rotor comes back up. So it's not really, it doesn't need to be lubricated or anything. And then we're going to reuse this gear here. Put spacer washer under there. That back on there. Put the spring back on it. Well, here's the motor assembled, and like I said, I used uh, screws and the old rivets, which is a rather laborious uh, and really tricky undertaking to do, but it saved me having to disassemble all this timing mechanism down here. Uh, most likely, you're going to be able to pull this motor straight off of whatever mechanism that you're taking it off of. That, they send you the new rivets here to put on, uh, to put in here, and that would probably be the best way to do it. Or... If you can get the motor all the way off, it's easy to put a uh, pass-through bolt, uh, then a nut on the other end, and that would work out just as well. So there's the new rotor, and it has, it's free up and down, and it rotates. And here is the uh, gear mechanism.